Caden needs medical attention. We have to leave the soul system. I know. The Citadel is our best chance. We can find help there. So yeah, this is the first time where the game's kind of uh, opening up a little bit. Hold on. Where we're finally exiting our solar system, which means we're also leaving the solar system to its fate, I guess. Commander. And we won't really be returning here for a while. I believe it's Admiral Hackett. Patch me through. I'll forward it to the call room. This is a new room. This room was not in two. No. Can you clear this I kind of like it better than the other room that we got in two. Yeah, I like this room because it allows you to have face-to-face -face conversations with a lot of people. You can talk to Hackett here. You can talk to Anderson here. Eventually, you'll be able to talk to members of the council here, stuff like that. Edie and Liara are analyzing what we recovered. What have you learned? Was it worth the effort? Preliminary evidence suggests the data is a blueprint for a Prothean device. Device? A weapon, massive in size and scope, that's capable of unquantifiable levels of destruction. Send me the data. We'll do our own analysis. If Liara's instincts are right, this might be the key to stopping the Reapers. I hope so. Major Olenko was critically injured. We're taking him to the Citadel. Sorry to hear that, Shepard. But we both know this is just the beginning. Talk to the Council, show them what you found. With luck, they'll give you all the support we need. And if they don't? Do whatever it takes to get them on board. I'll be in touch soon. Hack it out. Shepard? One of the things I really, really like about this game is that um, Shepard kind of goes through a little bit of PTSD in this game, where he's always going to be haunted by what happened on Earth with the little kid that died, and just the fact that Earth is being overrun. Unless we stop the Reapers, yeah. So in terms of Commander Shepard's. Uh, Character, this is probably my favorite game for him. This weapon could be the answer if we can build it. I get the sense you don't quite believe it, though. You didn't That's like the self doubt he goes through. You know, like, can I do this? Mm -hmm. Like, the whole world, the universe is looking at me. Yeah, you know what I mean? Conventionally, Shepard, isn't it worth trying at least? I'm going to check on Caden and James. Make sure we're ready to present our findings to the Council. I'm sure the Council will see the need to help. It'll be a hell of a short war if they don't. Barely got a pulse here. Move him out. Where are you taking him? Where to Memorial. Best care in the Citadel. We're not going with? We need to see the Council. Right. But now over here we got a bucket. What's his name? Beckett. Bucket. Barney. Looks like they might be coming to see you. Why do I forget his name? Bailey. Bailey. There we go. Hey you. <laughs> bucket. How's it going? Good to see you again. Yeah, you too. Though it's Commander now. Oh, gonna lady one. <laughs> you changed your name to Commander. Thanks. What is Bailey's first name? Uh, uh, my job Bailey? With uh, Bailey? Bailey? Bailiff. Bailey, Bailey. Bailiff, Bailey. Uh -huh. None taken. So, you're here to bring us to the council? I'm here to tell you the council is expecting you, but they are dealing with their own problems with the war and everything. Uh, they apologize for the inconvenience and blah, 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 blah. Meet them here at Adina's office. They'll be ready soon enough. All right. You might have time to go by the medical center if you want to check on progress over there. Thanks. I might do that. You go on ahead. I'll head up to Adina's office. Yeah, on the Citadel, unlike in uh, 1 and 2, you don't bring any squad members with you. Uh -huh. I'll try not to yeah, you're, you're, which you're I like. ride solo. I like that. Yeah, everyone's off doing their own thing. And of course, for some reason in between... 
two and three, the up. Citadel gets its its own. I'm just goal. assuming it's another like place. On yeah, the it has Citadel. to be kind of a different area. Wh- which do you like better? I don't remember what you said. Uh, one has the best. No, no, I mean out of two and three, because uh, one definitely is the best. Three, I like three a lot agree. better. I think it's a lot bigger and nicer looking. Where or why? But you're on the Normandy, right? I saw it, Doc. It was last seen on Earth. Did Commander Shepard escape? He did, didn't he? So why would he be here unless he's being the council? Ma'am, I can't talk about that. You don't have to. Commander Shepard... Jessica Chobot, you're a terrible actress. Why are you in this fucking game? I hate you. I second that. That's who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. I don't have the greatest track record with reporters. Punch her! Yeah, I wish he would just fucking punch Jessica Chobot right in the face. I don't have a problem with Jessica Chobot as a human being. As an, act- as an actress, she is quite potentially... No, you know what? No. I can confirm that she is the worst actress in this entire series. She's the worst part of this fucking series. You know exactly why she's in here. She is in here so that IGN could give this game a 10 out of 10 game of the year. It's like Skyrim with guns and space shooties. <laughs> She is not in this game for any other reason. What I wish is that Diana Allers, this useless, useless waste of space of a character, was replaced by Kalisa Al Ben John Alani Delan Alan, or um, what's her face, Emily Wong. Those two characters are fine. Diana Allers is the the only reason we want her is as a war asset. Because sometimes after specific missions, she'll interview you, and um, you'll get good paragon and reputation yeah, for uh, that. She's a paragon with battery. Yeah. And at any point, you can just jettison her from the fucking Normandy. But you can't, because you need the paragon, or the renegade. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, ugh. I look forward to doing a playthrough of this game where I knock her out right, like, immediately. Mm-hmm. And I think she's also one of the... Um, Options for romancing. No. Yes. Is she? Yep. I don't think you'll ever... I don't think you go the full way with her, but you do romance her. Like, you you kiss her and make out and stuff, but... Does anyone honestly want to, like, make out with Jessica Chobot? Nope. Shepard, there you are. Dr. Chakwas. So here is the only time... This is the last time we're seeing Dr. Chakwas. Um, sorry all you Chakwas fans out there, but... This is in fact the last time we will ever see her. Well, I mean, maybe we'll see her in the background, but this is the last time we're talking to her. Caden took the worst of it. How's he doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Major Elenko's resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word and I'm with you. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D-24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker is still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. Yes, the voices have started cropping up again, he's told me. <laughs> I've been kind of worried whenever he's flying. I believe this is the lady we saved in the beginning of one. Good to see you. Dr. Michelle, it's been a long time. Yeah. You've come a long yeah. way from that Oh yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. This is the lady how we this is we found Garrus through this lady. If it wasn't for her, we wouldn't have our uh, our bestest buddy. Mm-hmm. I assume you're here about Major Alenko. How is Caden doing? The head trauma was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These types of injury can go either way. He hasn't regained consciousness yet, but his vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You can go see him if you like. He's just down the hall. How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't... So if you talk to, like, kind of refugees and people in the Citadel, they'll kind of say, oh, man, we're really low on supplies, or I need this, or I'm missing this, the oxygen supply is running out. There's a lot of stuff that you can do that'll help the Citadel kind of run at 
its best abilities, and that is a good way to get up war assets, which are very important in this game, and we will uh, talk about them more in detail a little later on. You can buy shit on the Citadel, it's pretty much the same as it's always been. You can use the Citadel to buy stuff. Flashback Starkham Asylum. Yeah. There's a lot of life in this this uh, version of the Citadel. Yeah, which it is another thing alive. I like is the conversations everyone has. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I love the most about this game is the feeling of hopelessness. That everything is really bleak. You know, this is the end of the world. Mm -hmm. And that's what I love about this game. It does that very well. Yeah, it's very, uh... Like, no one's saying anything, but you just get that vibe, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, Now, I know where Kaiden is. I'm just looking at all the rooms, so I don't... Uh -huh. I want to just explore. Kaiden is in that room to my left. But we're not going to go talk to him. <laughs> nope! Now, we just want to see if there's anything over here before we go in. Don't think there is, though. No, there's people talking. Shepard confiscates all the supplies. I need all of this. <laughs> yeah, as soon as you open the door, it puts you right into a cutscene. Hey, Caden. There are times in this cutscene where I swear his eyes are open. Don't know if you can hear me. But since you can't tell me to get the hell out either, I'm going to take my chances. Get your ass out of this bed and back to your post, Major. Seeing you in action again, it reminded me you're a hell of a soldier. Yeah, you got bashed by that robot real good. I could use you. We need your robot bashing skills. You need anything, Doc. Let me know. Shepard has doctor senses. Yeah. He had no reason to think that doctor came in. There's another one, I see her! There's a Solarian doctor behind me! He knows where all the doctors are all the time. Mm -hmm. That is his power. He knows where <laughs> Dr. Chocolate's was. <laughs> now, usually when I'm on the Citadel, I'll cut around a lot. Uh, like, I wouldn't usually show me going into the elevator and getting out of here. But since it's the first time we're here, I'm going to show it. And then never again. You're welcome, America. Shepard. Please, one moment, please. 